Hello there, and welcome to this comprehension task called the bank robbery. So let's read this together. So Kapil needed some new trainers, and Mum had promised to buy him a new cricket bat as well. But he would have to be patient because they had to call at the bank on the way to the shops. So Kapil's parents had a shop and made trips. Kapil's parents had a shop and made trips to the bank several times a week. Because Kapil's parents had a shop, they ran a shop, which meant the money that they had, they had to actually deposit it at the bank, which meant they had to regularly go to the bank on a weekly basis. So Kapil helped to count all the money and sort the different coins into bags. He asked if he could carry the money in his rucksack. And when mum said he could, he discovered that it was very heavy. This is going to take such a long time, said Kapil, as they waited in the queue. I hate coming to the bank. It's so boring. Not so long now, said mum. Where next? Suddenly, two masked men burst through the door. Out of the way, one of them shouted. This is a robbery. You can see these two men here on the right hand side. You can see Kapil and his mother. They pushed people aside and ran right up to the counter, thrusting a sack towards the cashier. Empty all the mon money into the sack, shouted one man, while the other pulled a gun out of his pocket and waved it at the other customers, most of whom dived to the floor. Mum pushed Kapil into a corner and stood in front of him just as his rucksack fell to the floor. Other people were scrambling to get out of the way. One lady made a run for the door, but she was stopped by the third man who was standing guard. He shoved her back against the wall. In less than a minute, the robbers fled from the bank, but the man with the gun tripped over Kapil's rucksack and fell heavily to the floor. The gun flew out of the hand, out of his hand and landed at Kapil's feet. Mum kicked it away and several people leapt onto the robber and held him down until the police arrived. Well, said Mum an hour later, after they'd given their statements to the police, you couldn't say that trip to the bank was boring. Wait till we tell dad. Kapil picked up his rucksack. It was still very heavy and they didn't even get our money, he said. There we go. That's the story about Capo and his mom and the two robbers at the bank. Luckily, the robbers did not manage to take Capo's rucksack, which was filled up, filled up with money from the shop. Um, but it was a dangerous, dangerous moment, and luckily, people didn't get hurt. So have a read of this text again one more time, and then you've got questions to answer thereafter. And we'll review the questions in our next lesson. Good luck.